Welcome to Festsaal Kreuzberg here in Berlin, where I'm with Equilibrium. Uh, let's start from uh, going a bit way back when the band was starting in the early 2000s. Uh, why was the German language chosen for the lyrics originally? Well, I mean, when we started the band, we were really much into this, you know, like kind of pagan Viking metal thing. And we had a lot of uh, bands in Germany also that are doing some kind of this stuff and using German language. And so, yeah, we were just into it and tried to write some songs like this also. And um, of course, also it helped that German is our uh, mother language, which makes it much more easier to express since our English skills were much worse at this time. Okay, and how did all the teams come together back then? The Germanic mythology mixed with folk metal and even black metal a bit? Yeah, I mean, like when we started the band, it was actually like more like a cover band. So we played songs like from Dimo Borgia, Iron Maiden, Hypocrisy and things. Uh, yeah, but then, uh, as I said, we soon got into this uh, pagan theme. And this included all this, um, this mythology thing, like also from German mythology. And yeah, especially our singer, our former singer, Helge, at this time, he was really into this and he wrote all the lyrics at this time also. So actually it was more like I wrote the music and he put his, uh, his themes there where he was into it, uh, to the music. Okay, uh, there's been a, a gradual change uh, towards uh, English lyrics and uh, leading to renegades, of course. Uh, what kind of started the change to start writing more in English and uh, how did that evolve along the way till the Renegades? Yeah, I mean, uh, like with Equilibrium, we always have been a band that really tries to progress and to try out new things. We really don't like to stick on one thing and repeat all the time. So, and also it was, it felt like the music became a little bit more modern. We had a little bit more modern influences and it just felt that uh, English lyrics would also fit better to this, like even just from the from sound wise, you know, but also it's like, of course, uh, it's an important thing that also more people can understand what we are singing about so that you don't just have to translate it. I mean, we like both sides and we will still also continue also from time to time use German uh, vocals also uh, lyrics. But yeah, like English is really helping to spread the things we are talking about more in an easy way. Okay, has this changed your creative process somehow? Uh, for example, how was the creative process and recording for Renegades? Well, it was very intuitive. Uh, at this moment, I really didn't think about the past of Equilibrium, which maybe have uh, enforced the dram more dramatic uh, change in the, in the sound that we had on the last album, because it's, it has a little bit less uh, folk influences that we have uh, usually. So uh, I really didn't think, I just, I just wrote and I just had these topics in my mind that I would like to express. And so that was very, it was very uh, spontaneous and intuitive. And then when we actually started recording was like, you know, like uh, Dom, he, he lives uh, in the west of Germany and like Scar, he lives in Norway. So it was like we exchanged things and uh, everybody could record stuff on its own place, his own place and could send it together again. So it was, yeah, it was a, like a collaboration over a lot of kilometers. Okay, you said the uh, music uh, has become a bit more modern. So, uh, what would you say were inspirations for Renegades music and lyrics? Um, well, the lyrics are in, in general inspired just by life, you know. I mean, this is something that really changed. Uh, like our old singer or former singer, he, uh, he had these influences from old tales and stuff. But for me, it feels more like um, I, I had a more urge to to write about uh, lyrics that are uh, about things that are now present in time. I think that's more important for me at, at least. And um, yeah, about the music, uh, it's for me, it's just like everything inspires me because I listen to every kind of music as, it's, as soon as it's uh, made good and as soon as it's uh, honest music where you see passion, it just touches me. It doesn't matter which style it is actually. But I can say for the more electronical influences on the new album, it's definitely inspired by uh, um, Stranger Things, like the TV series Stranger Things. I really just love the soundtrack and it might have a little impact on the new album also. Okay, uh, yeah, also uh, Scotty and Martin joined the band. 
for this album. So, uh, what do they bring to what, the band? What did you bring? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, when I was contacted, it was because they they wanted someone to do have normal singing in the band. So my contribution to the album was basically my vocals. I didn't really <clears throat> touch upon the music too much. I made some adjustments to some of the songs and whatnot, but that's about it. And uh, I made my bass lines, very basic stuff really. And then, um, yeah, some some songs I changed a lot. Some was just what Rene had made. So not really much other than that. So. Okay, uh, now that there's uh, has some uh, time has passed since the album was out and you are now start starting the Renegades tour. Uh, what are your own thoughts on the album now that a bit time has passed? My own thoughts about the album. Well, that, that's that's a difficult question somehow because you know when I look back like the, our discography over these like well almost getting to 20 years actually. Uh, I mean, every album has this connection to the time that has, it has been written about, you know. And actually, for me, it's like when an album is finished, I'm already uh, thinking about the next one. So actually, the, like the Renegades creating area is already done for me in my head. So I'm already thinking about new stuff. But um, uh, I think you want to say something? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would like to add something. Um, I mean, for Rene, it's a little bit different, I guess, as for the rest of the band, because uh, he's the main composer and he has a different view on all the topics. So uh, what I can say, at least for, for myself, is that Renegades is a, a cool progress. Uh, it, it's absolutely f fun on stage. This is what we have to say. Like yesterday was a tour start of this Renegades tour, and I could definitely see that the people were really enjoying in, into that new kind of music because I, I really think it's a killer life. And I think it was uh, the, the, the right move. And we as a band, we had many conversations about it and we, we, we were standing behind this um, move we took. And I, uh, let's see what comes up next. Equilibrium is always good for some kind of uh, a spontaneous idea like what you heard in for example path of destiny uh if you know the song with the rap part and stuff so yeah i think it was a good move and um life it's killer and for me it's simply the nicest album to play live at least yeah i think that's right it's really it's really fun to play the new songs live because yeah they really have just nice tempos and nice uh, riffs it's, it's really i think we all really enjoy to play it like oh yeah yeah <laughs> I said the uh, tour is just starting, so what are your expectations for the tour and is there uh, already like live favorites from the new album? <laughs> well, I think we had some experience on the festivals already, right? Well, you know, it was, uh, we played some of the new songs on, in, during the summer, but it was pretty obvious that the, the, the title song Renegades was a hit among people. Uh, you could see it immediately and, you know, as soon as that main riff kicks off. So I, I think, like, if we can say, that one is always so much fun to play when that riff kicks up. I always get dragged into the mood immediately. But I also we played um, Final Tear and uh, Rise of the Phoenix yesterday, and I also thought that was so fucking cool because they're so moody songs, and they really they really add so much to the set amongst all the other old songs and whatnot. So it is hard to pick a favorite for me, but I would say Renegades. Um, there's also one thing that I can mention about it. Usually I don't. Uh, record myself while practicing the new songs but this was the first time i did it and i sent it to renee because there's another song coming up so very soon a, a new single uh we will release and um just practicing this song was so much fun that i immediately immediately took a video and sent it over to renee and i said okay i i can really feel it so i'm really looking forward to release this guy uh, this new song so yeah yeah Actually, uh, the funny thing is we are at the moment like now working on it, even like on tour, and we probably will even play it on some shows then as soon as, as, it's, as it's finished. <laughs> so yeah, we really like just creating things, creating music and trying it out. So it's, it's, at the moment, it's really fun to create, create new stuff. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Rene, you already mentioned the band's long career. So how do you see the band's evolution through the years and uh, what have been like the high points for you? Who like high points? I mean, I mean, of course, you really remember like these uh, points that are like the first things like, for example, like the first record deal or 
the first time we've been on bigger festivals, like I remember like in 2004, we have been on the German Summer Breeze Festival, which is a big one. And then 2005, it was uh, Wacken. So this uh, we will always remember. First bra on stage. <laughs> first bra on stage. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just sw sweaty shirts and something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, like the first uh, Nightliner Tour, Europe Tour that we've been on in 2008, like it was called like Heidenfest Tour. And this was actually the first time we've been uh, also with Finnish bands on tour. This was a great experience. We've been there with Fintroll and Katamenia and uh, like Monica and Elevati, as far as I remember, Primordial. This was really a great experience because it was the first time to discover all this magic, <laughs> you know, in the tour bus and uh, being on the road. And yeah, I think it's mostly things when they happen first and then when you get like first time into the charts and these things. But for me personally, the really, uh, like the really best things that I really remember most are like traveling to countries I've been never been before. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like, like uh, all these Scandinavian countries also like Finland also. And um, uh, like Asia, we've been like a few years ago, this was also incredible or Russia or Mexico. The, so these are really things that you remember always, at least I think so. So it's yeah. okay. Thank you so much and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's Kitos, right? Yeah, Kitos. <laughs> <laughs>